What's up guys, it's GamerGuide here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and prevent lag. Now I know recently it has been very laggy in Fortnite just because of everybody being home because of quarantine and the coronavirus so everything has just been super laggy overall and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to prevent and avoid some of that. But guys without any further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright, so the first step is I highly recommend not using vehicles in the game. Now, only use them if you absolutely need to, but basically these for some reason, every time I get near them, they just cause me to lag a whole lot. I don't really know why, and whenever I am in one, I lag even more, so if you are ever in a fight, try to redirect it away from a vehicle, and yeah, so just go ahead, stay away from vehicles, on to the next step. Alright, so the next tip is I don't recommend playing Arena Division 5 and above, I'd say, because in Contenders League, that's when it starts to become a scrim, and basically, when it's a scrim, there's so many people in the final circle, and for some reason, when it, there's a lot of people in one circle that's very small, it'll tend to lag a whole lot, so I highly don't recommend playing Arena unless you're in a lower division in it, or you're okay with this little amount of lag. But guys, on to the next tip. Alright guys, so the next tip is I don't recommend hot dropping. Now, basically hot dropping is either you land at the first location that the battle bus goes over because there's going to be a lot of people going there or don't land in the center of the map, which at the moment is the agency, or just don't land at like the shark, the grotto, the rig, all those places because it's just going to be really laggy and I do not recommend that. But guys, on to the next tip. Alright, so guys, the next tip is I highly recommend using a VPN or a booster. Now, I have some videos on my channel about those that you can go ahead and check out. But basically, what a VPN or booster does is they just boost your internet signal. Now, ever since I've started using these, my ping has decreased by like 10%. I know it's not a whole lot, but still, it matters because if you're at a thousand ping, it'll bring it down to like 900, so then you can actually move. So I just recommend using a VPN or booster on to the next tip. All right, so basically if multiple people are using one data network or Wi-Fi network, it'll basically just cause it to lag a whole lot during the day especially. And now why I say in the day, especially because lately I've been playing Fortnite a lot at nighttime and it actually helps significantly. Now the reason why I feel like this helps so much is because not many people are actually on the network and for me personally some of you guys know this that I've talked to but I do not have Wi-Fi so I have cellular data and that is how I play Fortnite so that's why I like making these videos of how to lag less because I just really can relate to them <laughs> and basically when I play at nighttime usually my whole family is asleep so then that just gives me the advantage in ping. Alright guys, so like I said in the last tip, I do not have Wi-Fi. You can go ahead and make fun of me in the comments section. Quite honestly, don't care. Haven't had Wi-Fi my whole life, so kind of used to it at this point. But basically, I recommend, I've heard this from many people, that if you get close to your Wi-Fi router, that it works really well. I'm not sure why this works, because like I said, I do not have Wi-Fi, so I really can't relate to this. But guys, on to the next step. Alright, so the final tip that I have is that you guys should go ahead and in that one tip I mentioned that you should go ahead and try to play at nighttime if that works for you because most people are asleep. But if you are in a situation where most people are awake during nighttime, you can try to work out times that you can play at that people aren't playing at. Now, the reason I think this will really work is because when a lot of people are on the internet, it just is very slow. So I overall just think that if you are not playing on the internet while people are, and then if you just switch it and do a vice versa, so like you're playing on the internet and nobody else is, it should be very smooth. I just highly recommend it. Anyways guys, that's all I have for today. 
Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot for making it to the end just because, you know, it helps me with my watch time to help me get monetized. So I highly recommend watching to the end just for my sake because, you know, it helps you guys give back to me because I need watch time. Thank you so much for watching. It has been Gamer Guide. If you made it to the end, go ahead and comment down the word ping. It just lets me know that you made it to the end and it, trust me, it really helps out a lot. Like I said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.